This is Alex with WMD and today we're going to take a look at the SSM Expand. The SSM Expand is a module specifically designed to enhance the sequential switch matrix with even more features. In this video we'll go over every feature of the SSM Expand and explain their functions. The SSM Expand module houses a trigger length input as well as a series of outputs including one for each switch of the SSM, two more DAC outputs, and a step output. The switch outputs send either a gate or a trigger signal each time the corresponding switch is on. You can use these outputs to trigger drum modules, envelopes, sequencer commands, and more. The difference between gate and trigger modes is that trigger mode will send a positive 10 volt signal at the beginning of each time the corresponding switch is on. The length of the trigger can be changed via the trigger length knob as well as the CV input labeled trigger length. This can be helpful when dealing with drum modules that seem to work better with shorter or longer signals as well as opening and closing envelopes. Gate mode sends the same positive 10 volt signal when the switch is on, only it will keep the sending the gate until the switch turns off. Therefore, if you are passing signal through a switch, the corresponding gate output will send positive 10 volts. You can easily switch between the two modes with the gate slash trigger button. The step output also sends a 10 volt trigger signal. It sends a very fast signal for each step, acting as a clock or gate output of sorts. DAC3 and DAC4 outputs act the same way as the DAC1 colon 2 output on the SSM does, except for they only have 4 bits each. Each output sums to 5 volts, with the top switch being the most significant bit and going down in voltage down the column. The invert behavior button will send a trigger or gate signal each time the switch is turned off instead of when it's on. Retrig on step will cause the trigger output to retrigger quickly on every step for which its corresponding switch is on and when the trigger length is longer than the step is. For example, if you leave a switch on through multiple consecutive steps in order to pass a baseline sequence continuously but are using the same switch to trigger the kick drum, you can have the kick drum sound each time a new step is brought up instead of just the beginning. When not in retrig on step mode, the trigger slash gate signal will only be sent on the first step of the gate being open.